Hey everybody, welcome to another installment of A Week in Geekdom. Today we're going to be talking about Frag Time. Welcome back to the channel, Geo here, and yeah, Frag Time, the original video animation adaptation of the Japanese Yuri Manga series by Sato. This was done by Tier Studio. I, I don't know if it's Tear or Tier, it's probably Tier. Either way, you're probably going to correct me in the comment section down below. But regardless, this was the former studio. They recently went bankrupt and they're no longer in business, unfortunately. They never did a whole ton, just uh, one or two series, and this. OVA which is adapting a, a manga like I said the story centers around the character of Mizuzu Moritani she has this uncanny ability to uh, stop time for three minutes per day at the start of the series she is extremely shy introverted and uh, just timid overall and she's confronted by a classmate Yukari Kobayashi who's asking her to participate with her on a uh, school club and all that stuff the story takes place in high school so yeah that's the thing that they do over there with the uh, club activities and uh, Misuzu being such an introverted and, and scared timid character freezes up doesn't really know how to confront the situation she doesn't really know how to talk to people or or what happens when you're in a scenario like that she doesn't know how to deal with that stuff and the stress of you know being in public and talking to people i guess so she stops time and runs away and in her curiosity she meets the character of haruka murakami who happens to be the second protagonist of the story. Now, here is the part that was actually pretty funny, uh, but I know a lot of people will, will probably uh, uh, not dig this part so much, but uh, Isuzu, being a teenager, being curious, she takes a peek at Murakami's underwear, and at that precise moment, because you gotta remember, she's using her ability to stop time, and there is there's this underlying perverse nature to having superpowers and I'm not talking about frag time itself I'm talking about in, in manga comics and, and, and fiction in general uh, a lot of people I know for a fact would probably use certain powers for not so safe for work activities whether it's flying or invisibility or stopping time it's just a fact that is in the nature of humans and you know uh, it I could go on this rant about psychology and defying the status quo and sticking it to conventional uh, logic and then you could make a case for all of that but I'm only here to review the movie based on a manga which was I think was only two volumes it's a very short story and it gets stretched out to its limit I think with this movie I think it's only an hour and some minutes something like that but going back to the plot, uh, she, of course, is a teenager. She's curious, and she wants to take a, a, a sneak peek, I guess. But in a cool twist, Murakami turns out she's not affected by Moritani's time-stopping abilities. In fact, she's the only one who's not affected and is clearly seeing what this girl is doing. Murakami happens to be... Uh, one of the popular girls or the popular girl in high school a lot of people know her and she's very sociable which contrasts with Moritani's personality like I mentioned earlier however there's more to the character of Murakami than meets the eye she's actually holding back some secrets of her own I'm not necessarily going to spoil the plot for you guys I'm just telling you an overall impression uh, but as the story progresses we basically see the friendship turn into a potential romance between these two characters that have this secret this alone time if you will where they can stop time and really be true to themselves and not feel judged and uh, just uh, let loose in the world so it's a very metaphorical thing for growing up and finding your own voice and all that stuff uh, throughout the course of the film a lot of interesting things uh, develop and eventually the two characters butt heads one uh, because of jealousy and the other because well they're just starting to know each other and they're probably 
using the excuse of this incredible mysterious power that one of the protagonists has to form this romance but they don't really know if that's going to actually work in real life if you will but as the story progresses moritani starts to further her feelings for uh murakami and starts using her time stopping ability uh, in selfish ways because now that she sees a love interest she feels a certain jealousy and ownership over Murakami and you do get some of the classic tropes when you get stories like this where it's more wish fulfillment of characters uh, suddenly being struck with weird abilities that they can't really explain nor does the story try to explain there's just a thing that happens it's a, a, a little deus ex machina if you will to progress things forward and to sort of uh, connect the characters together. The whole time stopping thing, it never gets explored. We don't really know the origin of it, we don't really know the hows and whens and whys and all that stuff. Uh, we just know that the character has this really uh, golden opportunity to use this ability and in the process she learns more about who she is and about trusting others and getting to know other people. Murakami, on the other hand, has this secret where she doesn't really relate to a lot of people and she is very methodical in how sociable she is and how she presents herself to others and what she lets others know about her but in regards she knows about everybody so that she can uh, respond accordingly to the situation. Aside from the whole sci-fi aspect, these are things that happen in real life throughout the world with different people. So I, it can be a, a really relatable for a lot of us watching this who remember growing up with these feelings or even young people now who are watching this and can sort of uh, sympathize with what is happening with our two main characters. I feel that one of the issues with this movie, it's a little bit too short. Maybe if you would have given it a few more minutes of, even if it's not in the original story, just a few more minutes of daily live shenanigans that are occurring for the characters, it would deepen that bond and that relationship for when the final act of the story comes out or plays out and you feel the emotional impact of what happens to the characters. Overall, I enjoyed it. It's not the most dramatic, amazing thing in the world, but it is a nicely packaged sci-fi inspired romance, if you will, about these two characters coming out of their shell and realizing who they are as people and finding trust in others. It just so happens that time warping abilities are involved but yeah clean animation loving the backgrounds and character designs it's a nicely drawn movie that i do recommend if you want to watch something a little bit different i enjoy a good drama and if you start mixing in a sci-fi elements i'm all over it so i was excited to check it out it didn't really disappoint but then again it didn't like super blow me away i just thought it was pretty serviceable and okay <laughs> But uh, regardless, uh, what did you guys think of Fragtime? Have you read the original manga? If you haven't, have you watched the movie? Let me know regardless in the comments section down below. So that's about it, guys. As always, thank you so much for being a part of A Week in Geekdom. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you know when new videos pop up. And if you want to follow me on social media, all those links are down in the description below. I've got to go, guys. I will catch all of you on our next review.